Hey everybody, I have an album flip through today. So this is my fall 2020 album. So um, last fall, we uh, donned our masks and we went to a fall outside, pure outside fall festival. And then we also did a fall photo shoot with one of my very favorite photographers. So till I got all the photos back from that, I had an album full of fall pages, which is good because I have a whole album of fall this year, but last year, or, um, I had a whole album of fall for last year, but this year I have very few pictures. So that's awesome. Okay. So I purchased this album from creative memories. And, um, when I purchased the album, I purchased the album and like one or two sets of page protectors. And then as I was creating this album, I was going through some of my older, um, boxes of supplies, uh, trying to kind of purge some stuff. And I found an entire box of creative memories, the, um, pages that have the, the, I don't know this thing on it in their paper. So, you know what? I used some of those as I filled out this album. So this album is kind of like a Franken album from creative memories, but that's okay. And I have more of these with the Jeep edges on them. So then I can go ahead and um, make another album later from them. And it'll keep the cost down because I already have the pages hanging out here in my scrap room. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna try to see how I can get this into frame because of the way that I, because of um, the way that I keep my camera. I don't know if I can get all the whole album, but I'm gonna do my best. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a video for almost every one of this, of the layouts in this album. So I'll try to kind of reference them. You'd have to go search for them though. I am not linking up, you know, 50 process videos in the description box. So this one was, I, um, this one is created using all Wild Whisper products, products for sure this line from Pam Bray and then this older um, stamp set. Beautiful, beautiful. And there is definitely 100% a video for this one. Um, pretty sure there's a video for this one. This one uses um, lots of fun sequins. I think this was created using a scrapbookstore.com kit, if I remember correctly. There's definitely a video for this one. This is one of the last pages I did for my Chamel Sketches Reimagined um, projects. This is my beautiful fall leaf stamp. You will find that, I love that stamp set, it's so good. Some torn paper. And I also think that maybe this one was same, um, like the same kit was used for both of these pages from the scrapbook store. These two are hybrid pages. They are from um, a set by Tracy Reed. Love, love, love that girl. And I'm on her design team now. So you'll be guys will be getting lots of hybrid pages. Um, yes, if you didn't know, if you don't follow me on Facebook or if you don't watch my channel all the time, I will be posting lots of hybrid projects coming up because I was accepted to Tracy Reed's design team. Yay! Um, so this both of these are um, Tracy Reed products that I print and cut and I paired them with some Scrap and Happy Studio Flare for this one and then some cute little fall enamel dots and brads for this one. This is another Tracy Reed page. Love this bottom piece that I created here. Turned out so, so, so cute. And then this one, um, this one I used uh, the video, there is a video for this one. The video for this one is, um, I think, it, was it a members only video? Possibly. Uh, but I just cut and used all the tags and I have a little bit of journaling down here. This was just, I was uh, documenting how my son, my youngest son was with, you know, we were outside at this fall festival and he was very conscientious that there be no people around him. Oh, here. <laughs> and here's another page using it. This one uses um, Simple Stories. I think it's called Cozy Day Photos. And uh, yeah, 
And then there's a lot of journaling here about how he was with the people. And I'm pretty sure there is a process video for this one too. Definitely a process video for this one. This one I actually created fairly recently. This was uh, one of the pages I was doing as I was trying to empty this or fill up or finish this album. So, and we have some Dottie about Flare Flare. This is from my Mega Fall Kit, I believe. And then this one too is from the Mega Fall Kit. I hope that there isn't too much of a glare for you guys. And there's a video for this one. Um, I did this one last year. I'm pretty sure there's a video. Um, there's some Scrap and Happy Studio, Epoxy Flare. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a How to Kill a Kit with Style layout as well. And then I used some of the cardstock from um, the cardstock strips from Scrap and Happy Studio and an acrylic from uh, Colorcast Designs. Oh dear, there's like. Um, let's see, next page. <laughs> this one uses Maggie Holmes Marigold line. There is a video for this. It was from last year. This is a more recent page. This is again, one of those pages that I did to kind of finish my album up. Um, the, you can find the video for this. This was actually done last month for Technique Tuesday for, um, a cherry on top and I created my own little watercolor stenciled border and then this is all stamps and dies and this page just I love it it's so so pretty these two over here <laughs> this one was actually a page that I did this was like the only page I've completed for Chamel's half and half class I still have all the links saved and all that but um, I only ever got one of those lessons completed with a page. We can try to do a couple more, maybe that'd be nice, right? And then over here we switch. So this was the last page from the day we spent at the fall festival. And then this one starts all the pages from the fall photo shoot that we did with the photographer. Um, this first page, I love this. I got this stencil from uh, Re Redefine Creative, kind of max masked, masked off the middle. And then I used um, Coco Vanilla Studios. Uh, what's this one called? Daydreamer Collection? Yeah. This one definitely has a video because I created it for cut to you. So this is the cut to you cut file. This is a cut to you title. And then I have lots of Cocoa Vanilla Studio products. This was recent. I did this for one of my fall mega kit layouts and I created this entire background with sequins. These are the late summer thoughts sequins from Spiegel Mall Scraps. And actually they were just restocked. So there might be some in the shop if you didn't get any. And then we had some coordinating daddy about flare flare that um, Adam designed to go with the sequin mix. Uh, this one uses Paige Evans Wonder Collection. And this is another one that was for um, Cut to You. This one was using Simple Stories Cozy Line and um, die cutting all these beautiful leaves with a cardstock warehouse and cardstock and a uh, honeybee stamps die. Both of these definitely, I'm, I don't think I've seen a video yet that doesn't have a process video. This one uses Simple Stores Cozy Days. You can kind of see <laughs> that um, I tend to be, while I don't scrapbook in order, I pull a kit out and sometimes I use it for a lot of projects. I love that Cozy Days collection from Simple Stories last year. This one uses some more Simple Stories products. There's also a stamp here. This is the fall stamp from Chamel. Some background fun. There's like, there's stenciling and splatters and some more stamping. And then there's also these leaves, which I'm pretty sure are from Cut To You. So this is probably a design team project for Cut To You. This one, um, so this November of 2020, my husband and I were married for 22 years. We'll actually be married for 23 years this coming Sunday. This video is going up Thursday. November 7th is our wedding anniversary. So um, I always try to get at least one photo of us together around the time of our anniversary to document it. 
So we'll see if I can get like a selfie or something on Sunday. Um, <laughs> and I used again, those beautiful um, papers from the Cardstock Warehouse. I also used some fab foil for this wreath design. This one was probably for a members only, maybe not, maybe sketches reimagined. I know there are a couple in here that are members only videos. So it's that one. These two are both members only videos. So these two do have process videos, but um, unless you are signed up for my VIP perks, you won't see them. Um, both this one was for my stamping class. And then, um, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, but yeah, I love this, how this page turns out. So, um, this one might also be a members only video. And this one is probably Maggie Holmes Monday project. Um, this one was a members only video for sure, because I taught, this was part of my mixed media backgrounds and I taught this mixed media background in the class. Um, this is the project that I did for my hop. So um, last January was my five year YouTube anniversary and this is the project, the video I did and the project I did for that. Um, this one would have been for uh, my short stint at Redefined Creative on their design team. There's a little stenciling going on with the Buffalo Plaid stencil. And then this one is really new. <laughs> so this one, there's a video for this. And um, I just did it using Prima's brand new collection because I had printed this photo large at Persnickety and then kind of forgot about it. This is another one that kind of finished out this album. And there is a process video for this. This is the one where I took the gloss gel and the large stencil from... Um, the crafters workshop this one is for this year's make a fall kit and there is also a video for this using lots of jen hadfield's peaceful heart papers die cuts um stamping you know all the things that i love and then the last one for this album uses um paige evans wonders and i'm also again 99 percent sure that there is a video for this one with the stamp background and um the clusters so that is uh oh what do we do here i'm not used to working with these albums anymore i used to use them all the time until i moved over that is my fall 2020 album ready to go uh i probably don't I think for 2020, I'm going to have two albums, <laughs> this one, and then like one more, and that'll be it because my photos for 2020, as is the case with most of us, are a little bit uh, thin because we were out doing a whole lot. So, but I'm really thankful that I was able to get all these fall photos from 2020 again, because 2021 fall was like a dud. Um, it's just been raining and raining and raining and cold and no good, no good fall leaves. So, oh wow, it happens. I do have a couple pages, but I've mentioned that before, but that's it. All right. I hope you guys like this flip through. I'm not my best at th flip throughs. They're not, um, I'm not really good at them. I think other people are way, way better at them than I am. But, um, a lot of people requested that I do a flip through of this album now that it's finished. So there you go. Have a great day and I will see you back tomorrow. I actually have two videos going up tomorrow, so I'm sure you will enjoy that. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.